KDB Direct publishing my first month report, which is just the month of June. So back then I only had two books, the Benkyo Note and the Japanese Notebook. My Japanese Notebook went live on June 19th and the Benkyo Notebook went live on June 22nd. And for that, I made two sales. So it looks like when you look at this, I made more sales, but these three books right here, I bought and shipped on June 22nd. And this one book my older sister bought for so that was that shipping. So I made one sale right here on the 23rd and one organic sale over here on the 29th. Uh, the 29th book is the Benkyo Noto, which you can see by going over here and doing this. I got the Benkyo Noto. The amount of money I got was 70 cents for it. And um, the My Japanese Notebook sold for 10 cents because all of them were 10 cents back then. This was my first book and I wanted to make sure everything was formatted correctly. So for my first month, my amount that I made was um, 80 cents. But of course, Amazon just gave me the $1.20 because that includes the book that I bought for myself. Um, you get your royalty payment notification two months after your first book goes live, I guess, or your first book gets sold. Because my first book went live on June 19th and I bought it like the next day and it shipped out around there and um, the 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 check that went through came out on August 20th. Um, another thing I noticed has to do with um, the author account. So this is nice because it tells you a little bit faster if someone buys your book. And um, so this will like go up and stuff like that. However, this only works on the Amazon site that you made your main site. So for example, my Tango Noto says it has no sales rank. However, I did sell one in Italy, the Amazon.it one. So if I went down here, you can see that it does have a sales rank on the Italy website, but even though it doesn't on the Amazon.com website. So I didn't know this sold for a while because I just like checking the um, Amazon author site because you get told a little bit faster. So it's kind of nice to be like, wow, something sold and excited to look out for it. But another thing is um, I managed to get the publishing error for that same book, which don't fully understand what it is, but basically sometimes a glitch will kind of happen. Like it's called a glitch, but on probably people. But see, normally your book is either in review or it's live. But every once in a while you get a publishing error. So my Tango Noto is in publishing, which means that the book is live, you're getting money for it, but you cannot edit this book. It is impossible to edit it. So because of that, um, this book has... Um, Spelling error right here, blank, blah, 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 blank, <laughs> rather than blank, which was pretty annoying. There's no way to fix that, except for maybe to call Amazon, which I do not want to do. I also can't change the price of this because of that, um, which I'd want to do at some point. I just uh, wanted to make sure everything was fine with it first. I like uploading things safe and then editing the price afterwards once I know everything's all set up. Customer reviews on the author report. This takes a little bit longer than just going to Amazon and looking at it. So right now all my Amazon book reviews that I know of are up right now, all three of them. And But if you, it's faster to just go to the site and scroll down like it took a couple of days for the um, author.amazon.com to register uh, that a review went up. Also reviews can take up to like a month I feel like until they show up on this website because someone would be like oh I reviewed your book but it's not up yet and then it will be like a month later then I'm like oh here's a review. My um, author updates thing looks like these blog posts are on Tumblr. So this is what Tumblr looks like on um, this thing. You can't like select what stuff goes over there, but you could definitely um, do stuff like that. So it's kind of fun that um, like if I reblog someone that got my book like right over here, this person bought my book and it's like it came a day, day early, which they told me on Tumblr, which is really cool. Uh, that's over here on the <laughs> author updates. This is very nice. What's annoying is that if you um, depublish a book, it's, it's going to stay on your thing forever. So this book right here had an error. So now it's just going to be here forever. Um, I guess I can update it at some point. And it doesn't really fit um, my theme. Uh, I was trying with this book. As you see, it says Moni Dibiloni. Middle names. 
are not different enough in order for you to make a uh, pen name. So I saw with pen names, uh, you make a different name because uh, I was like, oh, maybe this would make a pen name. But just letting you know, if you write a weird middle name, it's still going to be the same. Uh, it won't make a pen name for that. I'll be like, oh, that's too similar. And that's it for now. Bye.